afternoon and welcome to Mick's Guitar Show. I am Mick Finnerty. Uh, you can call me Mick Finnerty. And I am here to show you a new guitar that's absolutely going to blow you away up for auction today on Mick Finnerty's Guitar Show. Okay, what I'm holding in my hands right here is the Eddie Van Halen 5150 guitar taken directly from the 1976 tour when he was in Anaheim, California, uh, playing at the Whiskey A Go Go. Now, uh, some people have Eddie Van Halen, Halen replicas out there. This is not a replica. This is indeed the real thing. This guitar was played by Eddie Van Halen himself. In fact, this was his first guitar given, given to him by his grandmother, Van Halen. That's right. In fact, uh, he was quite young. You can see on the back that there are... Uh, You can see on the back all the different stickers uh, that his grandmother gave him as he was a child playing guitar. Uh, as we all know, Eddie Van Halen started out on guitar at three years old, and uh, he was very interested in SpongeBob. He was very interested in Captain Underpants, and uh, surprisingly enough, My Little Pony, which uh, makes its appearance right here. So, some interesting trivia about Eddie Van Halen that uh, most people don't know. This guitar also contains Eddie Van Halen's original. Uh, Christian Fish Strap, which uh, they just went in pro into production in 1975. He was the first one to buy this strap uh, in Anaheim, and uh, he used it up until his 1984 tour with Sammy Hagar. Another item of interest is the headstock. Uh, this is, as you can see, the original PV Patriot that he built his guitar from. Here is the missing E string. And as uh, most Eddie Van Halen enthusiasts know, Eddie Van Halen never actually used his bottom E string. He just used the top five, which makes uh, his playing that much more amazing. Just an, absolutely an incredible story uh, behind this man. Another interesting item is the input jack. Uh, this is actually taken from a wall hanger that was broken as... Uh, Eddie Van Halen and his brother Ludwig uh, Van Halen were fighting. Uh, they were wrestling in his bedroom. They knocked the closet door down. Uh, the parents got extremely angry, but Eddie uh, made lemonade out of lemons, and he took this piece that was broken off of his useless um, wall closet door, and he put it onto his guitar, which was broken. You can see right here where he had broken the pick guard. There we go, there we go. And uh, so this kind of fixed it, and his parents were absolutely delighted with him. They made him, uh, or they allowed him to quit his violin lessons and pursue the guitar uh, more heavily. This is Eddie Van Halen's kill switch. He took out the tone toggle and installed this little switch right here, uh, which heavily influenced Tom Morello. You may know Tom Morello. He was uh, the guitarist for Soundgarden. These are Eddie Van Halen's original speed knobs, stolen off of Billy Gibbons' Les Paul in 1977. Uh, there was a big furor over the internet back in 77 about whether Billy Gibbons allowed Eddie Van Halen to use his tone knobs or Eddie Van Halen stole them while on tour, but uh, most bloggers back then had very little information like we do now, and uh, we just come to believe that Eddie Van Halen stole them, took them, Stuck on it, stuck them on his guitar, and the rest is history. And for those of you who wondered how Eddie Van Halen gets his incredible sound, uh, there was a little secret right here. The Boss sticker, he used all Boss effects into a PV amp. Uh, he was a big endorser of PV, as we remember, and uh, he was a big supporter of Boss guitar effects, and that's how he got his signature sound. So, uh, so. A little bit of advice for you up-and-coming guitar players. Eddie Van Halen's Vans. You should purchase some of those on the Eddie Van Halen website. I have a pair myself. And there you have it. Now we're going to get down to price. Uh, for this internet auction, I would like to start the bidding at $39,000, which is a very, very low price for such a, uh, just a piece of rock and roll history. Uh, I'm going to let this auction run on YouTube for 90 days, 
and go ahead and start your bidding. $39,000. Basically, it's a winner take all. High bid takes it all. Uh, I will also include Eddie Van Halen's fish guitar strap and uh, these red strings, which I'm not sure if those came through all right, but uh, actually, these are the original red strings that he used up until his uh, final tour and when he started endorsing uh, ESP. So uh, go ahead and make a bid. If you can ask me any questions about it, I'd be more than happy to answer. Good luck to you on this piece. Rock and Roll History, Eddie Van Halen's original guitar. As a bonus, if the bid comes out to be over $100,000, I'm going to throw in Eddie Van Halen's first Pinewood Derby car. He did it when he was a Boy Scout in 7th grade. And, if that's not enough, his first guitar pick.